You stand with your hands held around the body of the camera, ready to take a video of your friend blowing out their candles. But do you stop to think about the history of the camera or how it was made? Now, there's a lot more to the camera than meets the eye. I love film and movie making, so learning the history and how the camera was made was really fascinating to me. Behind your phone camera and the Nikon camera is a world of history. Today, I'd like to inform you all about the history of the film camera and movies, how they were made, and the different types of cameras there are. Now, the history of the video camera can originate from all over the world. Now, the first idea of the camera, however, dates all the way back to the Middle Ages. The idea of the camera was first envisioned by the ancient Greeks and the Chinese. The first person to produce a camera was a physicist by the name of Alhuizen. It was called the Camera Obscura and it led to the creation of the pinhole camera. As the History Things website explains, Camera Obscura, in short, is reproducing an image with color and perspective preserved. Now, between the 1800s and the 1900s, a lot of the refining of the camera came into place. In 1813, there was an inventor named Niesifor Niepce, I believe I'm pronouncing his name correctly, <laughs> forgive me if I'm not, who would use light and the material of his choice to engrave an image that would soon develop as a photograph. Now, between Niepce's discovery um, and the help of many other inventors, the camera began to become more and more refined and usable to the public. George Eastman was the first to produce uh, and sell paper film. He invented and sold the first ever Kodak cameras, and as explained by the History Things website, the box consisted of a fixed focus lens and one single shutter speed. The camera was equipped with enough film for 100 pictures and required Kodak to, to process the photos and reload the film at the end of each roll. These cameras were priced surprisingly low, and the invention was the beginning of mass-marketed photography. This was the creation of the first ever handheld cameras. The Lumiere brothers were the first to use cameras to capture movies and revolutionize cinematography. Auguste and Louis Lumiere were brothers from France. National Ge Geographic explains, Auguste and Louis Lumiere invented a camera that could record, develop, and project film, but they regarded the creation as little more than a passing, a curious novelty. The movies you see today were only considered to be foolish magic tricks back then. The Lumiere brothers considered their invention to be only a passing form of entertainment. Can you believe it? The Lumiere, the Lumiere brothers were inspired by Thomas Edison's kinetic scope, which is said to be the first ever film projector. In short, the Lumiere brothers used the video camera to invent the movies, such a vital piece of entertainment in our world today. Through these magnificent inventions, the video cameras we see and use today were made. But did you know that there were many, there are many different types of cameras? For example, there's the DSLR camera. As the Wirewhelm website explains, <clears throat> relying on a digital image sensor as opposed to the traditional film cameras used to need and mirror technology to capture its subject. The term DSLR stands for digital single lens reflex. Camera. These types of cameras have a viewfinder and gives you a defined example of the image you are trying to capture because it uses only one lens. This is the most commonly used camera for when you want good quality videos and photography, much like you would see a lot of the YouTubers today use. Now, there are also instant cameras. As in the name, an instant camera is a photo where you can take a photo, is a camera where you can take a photo and have the image printed instantly. Um, since these cameras were first invented in the 1940s, they weren't always able to print the photos immediately, but you could send the photos in to get them printed for you. These types of cameras do not videotape, however. Now, last but not least, there is the Bolex camera. The Bolex camera played a prominent role in cinematography, in the history of cinematography, just as the Lumiere brothers did. The Bolex camera was invented was created in 1930 and sold by the Palliard of Switzerland. These cameras are useful for filming. As the Bolex movie camera website explains, Bolex H16EL cameras are now used mostly by film students 
who um, consider this the ideal camera based on reliability and accuracy of shots. All major camera functions and are controlled electronically, thus allowing one to view, focus, and film without having to remove your eyes from the viewfinder. It also has a built-in light meter that works very well in preventing over or under exposure of film. Today, I have a Bolex camera with me. It's pretty antique, so it's not in working condition. However, it is a good example of the complexity and the invention that is the cameras or film cameras. The film would go here. You would wind it up here. You would look through the viewfinder here and you would press this trigger here to film. Like so. Pretty cool, right? Now, while there are hundreds more cameras I could speak to you about, I could only get to three of them today. But as you hold your camera now, do you appreciate the complexity of the small, powerful invention? The early cameras made way for film cameras, which made way for the movie, the movies and photographies you see coming out today. Not only that, but film cameras allow for job opportunities in movie making and photography. What started as a small, seemingly meaningless invention paved the way to the world of art and entertainment we see in our world today. That is the history of the camera and how it was made and the different types. I hope you found this informative speech useful. Thank you.